Mexico Extreme Planet X. My name's Dani, and we're in Puerto Vallarta, exactly in Pitillal, that it's a small town inside Puerto Vallarta, before we start an exhibition, right? Yeah, or we're gonna have an exhibition tonight. We've got, what, skateboarding, BMX. Also, we have graffiti back there, an exhibition. We're about to start, right, Corey? All right, let's get going. Yeah. This is one of the, uh, the contestants. What's your name? Jorge Olveda. Nice to meet you. How long have you been doing this? How long? Um, I've been doing this like uh, 10 years ago. Um, this sport really is so fun. Uh, it keep, uh, keep you like out or drugs or anything bad. Well, good. Well, congratulations. You were absolutely amazing tonight. Jump was a little scary, I have to admit. But it was definitely worth it. Thank you so much. And you guys are doing a great job here. Uh, thanks to you. ¿Cómo te llamas? What's going on? Bueno. Eh, mi nombre es Isaac, pero todos mis amigos me dicen Mono. Mono, ¿te puedo decir Mono? Claro. Mono también. Ay. Oye, ¿cuánto tiempo llevas dándole al BMX? Alrededor de 7 siete, siete años ya en este business. Aquí andamos. ¿Por qué el BMX? ¿Por qué no otra cosa? Eh, yo empecé en la patineta, pero me di cuenta que esto era más divertido porque hay más velocidad, hay más altura. Más peligro. Sí, más peligro, claro. Y pues. No sé, me gustó demasiado. Y además que... como que se ve medio sexy en el bici, ¿verdad? Claro. Y más con el casco rosita. Sí. Rider yourself, am I correct? Yes, uh, I was competing 15 years like as a professional and I've been involved in this sport uh, since 1986. Well, that's a long time. So now you go all over Mexico and support these kids, educate these kids, and pretty much get them out of trouble and put them into something that's good for them, right? Yeah, of course. I think that I'm kind of lucky because I was following my passion the whole time and now uh, I'm, the leader, I'm the leader of those kids. Uh, and basically, we just promote this sport all over the country, doing contests, shows, exhibitions, so it's really cool. Alright, so don't go away, this is just the first day. Tomorrow they're at another exhibition. We are in Planet X and this is Mexico Stream. Nine a.m. in the morning, Corey. How are you feeling today? I'm a little cold, but you know what? The sun's gonna come out in the next hour or so, and it's gonna be hot and beautiful. So I'm doing good. Perfect weather here in Puerto Vallarta, and today we're going surfing. Are you serious? You know, I know there's a great spot north of here. I think it's Sayulita. It's about 15 miles. Is that where we're going? Exactly. That's the place we're going. So stay with us. We're gonna get in the car and head to Sayulita. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Okay, ready, Corey? I'm ready. All right. So you were telling me you did a little bit of surfing before, right? Well, yeah, like, you know, when I first moved to Mexico, me and my dad would take me surfing out towards, like, Punta de Mita area, but never towards La Yolita. So I'm excited. All right. So how was it back then? 
It was really nice. The waves were little. Of course, I was a little girl back then. And, you know, my dad would teach me how to surf, and it was really nice. Like we would go during, you know, like su Sundays and like hang out with the family and eat fish on a stick. You know, I loved it. So how do you like Sayulita so far, Corey? Well, I see a lot of culture, a lot of art, a lot of people, a lot of Americans. Just real relaxed. I like it. I think I can get used to this. And you can tell this is a surfing town, right? Oh, most definitely. Everybody's walking around in board shorts. There's bathing suits. There's surfboards everywhere. I definitely think this is the place we need to be to learn how to surf. Yes, and right here I see somewhere that they might help us. So let's go see who can we find, right? All right, have some fun. My name's Danny. Christian. I'm Corey, nice Mucho to meet gusto. you. Christian. What's your name? Christian. Christian. Yeah. Okay, so we want to learn to surf. So you can you help us? Surf. Yeah, we help you. So you never surfed before? Well, I did when I was a little kid, but I don't really think I can, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, you'll figure it out. I've done it, but I'm not professional, so uh, we can surf? Yeah, we can, we can surf, but we use the area for beginners. We use the, the area at the left side. Okay. There is a sand bottom. It's good for start to beginners because we don't have rocks in the bottom. Over there, they surfing. The guys that have experience, intermediates. The beginners they don't go there because when they jump, they're gonna cut the feet down in the rock. So maybe like in one hour more, we are waiting for the low tide. It's gonna be better for you for practice surfing. All right, I'm ready. I'm too. I can work on my tan while you guys get uh, ready. Are you ready? For, we have the indoor board to get uh, more balance when you go surfing, you know? Okay. So you wanna try? Yes, let's try it. All right, you, you first. Uh, <laughs> you first. Girls yeah, first. Go first. <laughs> So I know we're coming here to surf, but I see these over here. Now, what is this? This, this, mm -hmm. this is the paddle we use and the paddle board, stand up boards. We use this, it's a, the other sport in surfing. Uh -huh. It's a new, and we have with that eight months. So it's a paddle board, it's a new here in Mexico. Sounds interesting. Well, let's try both. I say, why not? We Position always, always they have to be in the center and the middle of the board. The toes together, in the back right here. When the waves coming, you have to paddle. Paddle right foot first, left front after sideways. Always they have to be. You have to be stay low. Stay low. Put your hands up and scream. Do whatever you want after that. <laughs> okay. You guys wanna? Yeah. Much better, much better. <laughs> I think you're ready for Hawaii. <laughs> I'm ready for 